Hello everyone, welcome back to OTC Fish Keeper. And today, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to feed the angelfish by hand. We haven't done the angelfish in a while. And uh, I know you see me standing in front of the Oscar tank here, going, how's it gonna feed the angelfish in front of the Oscar tank? But uh, actually, I'm gonna feed the angelfish some of the same food I feed the Oscars, so I went ahead and killed two birds with one stone. So I'll feed the Oscars, give them some shrimp on the camera, hopefully. And then, uh, then after that, I'll go down and feed the angelfish by hand. It's really cool. I noticed this about two weeks ago, and I thought it'd be a neat thing to do. So I'll re readjust the camera here so we can see the Oscars. Hopefully they behave and they eat on camera. And we'll get those Jack Dempsey's in there at the same time. And then, uh, and then we'll go down, and I'm very confident that the angelfish will happily eat on camera. All right, here we go. I'm going to shine this down. The Jack Dempsey's are hiding in that log right now. I'm going to see if I can draw the Oscars down far enough to get them to uh, grab some of this shrimp. They usually won't do this on camera for me for whatever reason. But at least they're looking. There we go. Now we're talking. And usually... If I can drop one close enough for the Jack Dempsey's to see it, they'll go ahead and grab it. So I'll throw a couple down here and see if they can catch that. Yeah, they're ironing it up. There we go. It's nice when they cooperate. Oh, I couldn't have aimed that one any better. Still working on the first one. I'll throw a couple more over here in the Jack Dempsey in the area. See if we can get them to come out for one more. So there are two Jacks in there. I think one has his back to us. Maybe not. I'll throw in a bit more shrimp than they'll grab right away. Looks like the second one might be getting a little jealous of the first one, so maybe he'll grab some. Yeah, the second Jack Dempsey does have his back to us. I think that was actually the small Jack Dempsey that came out and grabbed that. I'll throw a few more in here, get them worked up, get down to the point where uh, to where it's time to feed the uh, angelfish with what's left. The angelfish absolutely love this shrimp, but obviously it's a bit big for them, so I got to smash it down pretty small. All right, let me change the uh, camera angle here and get us down to the angelfish tank. Okay, and I, I almost never have any trouble with the angelfish eating. I smash these up before I put them in, make it a little smaller for them. Angelfish take these, most of the time they'll take these right out of my hands. They're being a little scared today, but there we go, right out of the hands. Holy cow, he took a big one. And they're even fighting over it. There we go, guys. Whoops. Scared them a little there, but... And the, uh, the white skirt tetras will also go for this shrimp very happily. As well as the gourami and the, uh, the silver dollars. Absolutely everybody in this tank loves this meal. I put this in here, and a lot of the bigger chunks will sink to the bottom, but come back in an hour or so, every last bit of it will be gone. They'll, they'll clean this up. Every bit completely. I ate her some Tetris with some in her mouth trying to swallow big chunks of it. Just smash it up when I put it in. Oh, that one did not get smashed. Hopefully they can handle that. Whatever it is, they like it. Angelfish, I think, are really cool for a first cichlid. If you're going to try cichlids and you want to try something out, I think angelfish are a great way to go. They're so personable. They really know who their, who their handle is. They really come up all the time when you're trying to feed them. They're never, never shy. A lot of fun to watch. Of course, they're very beautiful fish. And uh, I was surprised. I, I did not realize that I would like the angelfish until I got these guys and, and saw them in action. I think I'm going to have to grab that big chunk and smash that up. The Karami's trying to eat it, but he's having just too much trouble with it. So I'm going to grab that one chunk that I slipped out of my hand. Somebody's hitting my arm. <laughs> there we go. Smash this one up. Yeah, they love it so much that even the grommy comes right back for it. They're just like, that is good food, and we don't care who's in here. A 
Love the angelfish. So happy that I accidentally ended up getting a couple of them with some tanks I picked up because they've been an absolute delight. Yeah, here come the silver dollars now. Now that I'm a back of the way from the tank a little bit, they're going to go for it. And the big Oscar, he's even trying to grab the, uh, the big chunks on the bottom until he sees me looking, and then he stops again, but he'll get them. Oh, yeah, there goes a silver dollar just digging in. Just digging into that. Yeah, the silver dollar's tails are getting nipped up pretty bad, but I think they're doing it to each other. I, I don't think that the, uh, the white skirt tetras, who school, really cool still like that, I don't think they're doing it because they're not bothering the angelfish. I think it's a big enough school where they only mess with each other. And uh, since that's natural, it doesn't really affect them too much. That Karami is doing fantastic. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I'm going to close up my homemade lid here on this tank. It works fantastic. And I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.